Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, I got a little bit of a, a project I have to accomplish today. Um, not kind of any of the interesting little projects, but one of those just things that you have to deal with when you move to another state. Um, I knew I was escaping a lot of the nonsense that comes from California by leaving the state of California and going to Texas. One of those things is uh, the incredible tax burden that comes from income taxes and all the stuff that, that comes when you live in California. But since Texas doesn't have a state income tax, that means they got to get their money from somewhere. And um, I received something in the mail, actually yesterday, I just looked at it just now, that uh, apparently since I have a leased vehicle, the state of Texas assumes that it's mostly companies that lease vehicles and if the vehicle is used primarily as you know for driving people around who are in the process of generating income you know i i e someone who works for a company and has a company car that the company that the government taxes that now if i'm not using the vehicle for uh income generating uh, purposes. Uh, in other words, I'm driving the vehicle at least 50% of the time or more uh, for own, my own personal stuff, then I can be exempt from that. But there's documentation I have to fill out. And uh, this is the form I got. It basically says, uh, thank you for notifying us of your change of address. We have updated your account accordingly. Please be advised that the state of Texas levies a property tax on leased vehicles and requires completion of the enclosed property tax form 5285, leases affidavit of primary non-income and producing vehicle use. So yeah, basically that's just that just means that um, you know they automatically assume that if I'm uh, leasing a vehicle that I'm some company that's leased the vehicle and I just basically have to prove that I didn't by signing some paperwork. Now, unfortunately, that means uh, since it's a legal document, I have to get it notarized. So I got to go try and find a notary today and we're going to try and deal with that. So, you know, probably not going to be the most interesting vlog in the world, but, you know, it's part of the fun of coming into Texas. And like I said, if uh, they don't have a state income tax, they got to get their money somehow. So let's get to let's get to that. So it looks like my local UPS store has a notary on staff. So we're just going to start there. That should work. All right, that was pretty painless. In and out of the uh, UPS store, it took me about three minutes to get it done. Cost me a whopping six bucks, uh, but I'm good to go now. No more taxes on my lease car. Yay! And since the UPS store was right in the same lot as the uh, Spirit Halloween place, I decided to come back here. Now, I'm not just doing to cover this again. I actually uh, am looking for something specific. Not having a whole lot of luck, but still having fun. And since we're closer to Halloween, a lot of this stuff's on now. And they got things they didn't have before. Now that would almost be perfect for me, except for the fact there's no way I'm going to fit into a small or medium. They got two of them, and unfortunately that's all they have is small and medium. That would be actually perfect for me, though, if I could find one my size. Kind of looking for like a lab coat like a doctor would wear. Oh yeah, that's kind of creepy. And these would be perfect too if they were in white, but uh, they're in purple and they're in black and that's not what I'm going for. Because you can see there's a large one right there. So yeah, I didn't quite find what I'm looking for. I did talk to one of the the salespeople in there and they said that maybe you know they're always getting new stuff and they're expecting some new boxes and stuff in there so they might have uh you know the large lab coat uh in a in a week or two so maybe we'll come back and check again so there's this big storm kind of blowing in off the gulf i've been kind of watching for the last couple of days they're saying it might produce a little bit of rain uh come wednesday so i don't know hopefully that'd be kind of fun kind of looks like it a little bit now right now, a lot of times when it comes to outgoing mail, the mailbox in front of your place will like have a little red flag on it. And you can put your mail in the box, raise the red flag, and the postmaster knows that, uh, that that's outgoing mail. My place doesn't really do that, though. It has a mailbox, and then if you want to have outgoing mail, there's little more than like a paper clip attached to the wall, and you attach the uh, mail to that, and uh, 
that's where the outgoing mail goes. I don't like doing that, though, when I have something that's important, like a bill or a tax document like this. So I've just decided I'm just going to walk over to the mailbox or walk over to the post office because the post office is very, very close to where I live. And so that just makes sure that it gets into the mail properly. Also, um, what I'm looking for for that costume that I was talking about, it's something I'm dealing with with you, uh, with John Yarbrough. You remember he was the guy that that's been doing my artwork for uh, for my vlog and stuff like that. He's the guy that uh, designed the Texas uh, Pod Massacre shirt, and he's also the guy who redesigned my logo at the front of my videos. I've got a new idea for him, but um, it turns out his expertise in terms of graphics is taking existing things and manipulating them and putting them into a document rather than creating something out of whole cloth. And my original idea for him was uh, literally just creating something out of whole cloth. So I'm kind of looking for another way to get around that. And I think, uh, you know, maybe that lab coat thing uh, will allow me to maybe shoot some pictures of myself in that and make it all work. So that's kind of where we're going with that. So as we wind down this latest episode, I would like to thank my latest Patreon, Melanie Diamond. Thank you so much for contributing to my channel. It's very much appreciated. And I think that is all that I have today. Thank you to everyone else, uh, as usual, for watching. And I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.